Hello everybody! Scott Pilgrimath may be here. Welcome back to Go Go Nippon, my first trip to Japan 2016 edition. It's been a long while, and I promised I'd do this a long time ago. But here we are, back in the great Japan, uh, doing Makoto's route. Uh, and last episode, which was the first episode of this part of the series, we did Rikugian with uh, Makoto. And the other two new places, from what Google tells me, is Tokyo, which is Tokyo Station, and Chibamata, which is some sort of, like, temple town. So we're gonna go to Tokyo State, uh, Tokyo, just because it's here. I just want to get it over with, because the other place kind of looks more interesting, so save it for another day. All right. I think I like to go here. Tokyo Station is there something you want to go, s you want to see there? I'm not really sure, but the station building is pretty famous, right? We've passed through it, but I haven't really had the chance to look around. It's made from red brick, and I believe they just completed the several years restoration on it. Wow, really? That's right. There have been a lot of construction in that area for a while now, huh? Yes, they've been working really hard on renovations, so there's a lot of stuff to see around there. Yeah, totally. Even the station itself groans under the weight of all the shops inside. There's that many shops on the station? The interior of Tokyo Station is quite famous. Not only are there souvenir shops, but also places where you can eat and drink alcohol. They call it Tokyo's front door, after all. Um, there are a lot of new and historical things there. Oh god, what? Oh, whoops, didn't want to do that. I see, now I'm even more interested in it. Okay then, I will be your guide. Okay, thanks, Makoto. Let's go. It took about 40 minutes to get there after transferring between private railway and subway. I follow, I follow Makoto around the labyrinth of the Tokyo Station underground, and when we came to the surface... <laughs> wow, it's Tokyo Station! So this is the famous brick station building, huh? It feels certainly like it has a lot of... History. I'm surprised it's so small though. Is it really only two floors? I guess it's pretty long. It's 335 meters wide, apparently. <laughs> wow, that really is long, huh? It was designed by a man named Tatsuno Kingo, a leading Japanese architect of this time of the time. It was originally intended to be 330 meters long, two-story building, however, Tatsuno wanted to surprise everyone and it became a 335 meter long, three-story building instead three stories, but it's only two? Yes, it is. The roof and third floor were lost during the Tokyo bombings. Ah, ah. <laughs> during the post-war reconstruction, they didn't restore the third floor. They just used the two floors as they were for over 60 years. I see, but why didn't they restore it right away? Financial reasons. reasons. Post-war reconstruction had to be cut off midway due to a lack of funding. Anyway, they say the recent reconstruction cost 50 billion yen. But it looks like three floors to me. 50 billion? That much? I guess that explains why he couldn't restore it all the way. All the recovery efforts after the war must have cost a lot. <laughs> even so, that sure is a lot of money. <laughs> hey, even some Japanese people are taking pictures, huh? This is a popular tourist site for Japanese people too. It really does make you want to take pictures, doesn't it? It feels... It, uh, it's even been restored to how it looked almost a hundred years ago. A hundred years ago, spending 50 million billion yen to restore it to how it looked a hundred years ago? That's amazing! That's amazing! <laughs> uh, the reconstruction started. Uh, uh, I mean, before I continue, this station looks nice as fuck. I'm just gonna say that. Before the reconstruction started, a lot of people thought it would be more logical to tear it down and rebuild rather than restoring it. They thought building a taller, more modern building would be better. I mean, maybe. Logically, I guess it would make sense for it to, you know, make it more modernized in the long run. But I guess, like, Jap Japan is known to be traditional, right? So, I guess rebuilding it to be what it used to be would make a lot more sense. Because of the location, having a taller building would allow for more tenants. Yeah, that's true. They could, uh... They could recoup more of the construction fees, right? However, a lot of people also wanted to keep the exterior the same. They were, there were numerous petitions for it too. Yeah, I would assume. Keep the tradition alive, you know? Yeah, I understand how they feel. I like this retro style atmosphere. Same. 
That's right, afterwards, demanding to destroy the building stopped, and it turned into people talking about earthquake proofing and restoration instead. So that's how the two-story building got restored to a three-story building. The third floor and roofs were add-ons, so it must have cost a lot of, to build. But thanks to that, it looks it looks like it did it, it looks like it did a hundred years ago. The northern and southern domes on either side of the roof are the symbols of newly reconstructed Tokyo Station. Why don't we go and see what the domes look like from the inside? We can't. We can see it. I'd love to. Um, it's a fucking station. Of course, we should be able to go see inside, right? <laughs> Here it is. Wow, that's what inside the dome looks like. It's so pretty. I, I don't know. It doesn't look that impressive. Yes, they are extremely beautiful. A great deal of people come here, stop, look up, and take pictures. This is what it looked like a hundred years ago, huh? It's amazing they had something like this a hundred years ago. When I look carefully, I can see a lot of detailed reliefs, too. They're so pretty, are they? <laughs> yes, aren't they? It's like we're at an art museum. By the way, you can see windows in the super, in the upper portions, right? Those are hotel rooms. <laughs> huh? Hotel rooms in a station? It's called the Tokyo Station Hotel, right next to the place we came to the en in the entrance to the hotel. Really? I didn't notice at all. I never knew there was a hotel in the inside of a to inside of Tokyo Station. Well, the people who come and go from those rooms can get a very clear view of the dome ceilings. Wait, if there are hotels in there, how much do they cost? It really is a view unique to Tokyo Station. They're bringing out all the value you can only get here. I've only seen it in pictures, but the ceiling are very high with a fabulous grand interior and retro design similar to the station exterior. Even though I live in Tokyo, I would like to stay the there at least once. I'd like to stay there too. And someday when you come back to Japan, you can stay here and invite us to your hotel room. Huh? Me? Invite you and Akira? We'd want to see the view from your hotel room and then you could treat us to some delicious dinner and we can see the Tokyo skyline at night. Why, it's like a dream. Y yeah, like a dream. But yeah, someday. Yes, someday. I feel like... I feel like they say... This kind of stuff, like, often. Like, come back! Yes, someday! Yeah, someday, why not? That happens a lot with Akira's root, at least. Not yet, Akira's root, uh, Makoto's root. I hope I can really do it someday. But this hotel, it seems expensive. 50 billion yen in, con in construction fees. By the way... 50 bell billion yen is a lot of money. Who paid for it? <laughs> JR, of course. In, a f in order to afford the construction fee, JR sold its air rights. Or so I've heard, anyway. Really? Air rights? Well, the station is much shorter than the surrounding buildings, isn't it? That's right, it's surrounded by new skyscrapers. <laughs> Tokyo Station only uses 20% of the floor space index allowed, allowed by law. That leaves 80% left over. <laughs> and they sold what they had left over? You can do that? It appears you can. But what good does buying it do? You can transfer the air rights to other buildings, and, and the buyer can make that building that much bigger. I see. That kind, that's kind of mysterious, being able to buy and sell intangible things like that. Yes, it is, but thanks to that, they'd be able to re they've been able to restore Tokyo Station so beautifully. That's how badly people wanted it restored to how it looked 100 years ago, huh? I guess it goes to show how much people loved this building. Yes, that's right. When I think about it that way, the building becomes even more appealing. Speaking of which, the side of Tokyo is, Station is known as the Marunouchi Entrance. The area used to be full of da daimyo mansions. Daimyo mansions? Daimyo, those guys who served the Shogun, right? Oh, okay. Put, it, put simply, yes. Look, if you walk down the street, you'll eventually reach the Imperial Palace. That's where the Edo Castle used to be. Wow, Edo Castle! <laughs> this is the area his vassals li lived in. And incidentally, the other side of Tokyo Station is the Yaisu entrance. There were That was a merchant's town. So, Maruochi was a samurai town, the other side was a merchant town, and Tokyo Station was the boundary between them. Speaking of stations, Tokyo Station is also the basis for whether a train line is inbound or outbound. If it's moving towards Tokyo, it's inbound. If it's moving away, it's outbound. Wow, really? Nani? Wait. Game? Hello? Uh-oh. Hello? Oh, that was, that was fucking weird. Wait, let me scroll up. Yes, and on the road signs, what do you think is referenced when they say X kilometers to Tokyo? Huh? Where's Tokyo get to station again? I'm afraid not. <laughs> 
But, wait, huh? Wait, what? Yes, and on road signs, what do you think is referenced when they say X kilometers to Tokyo? Huh? Where? Tokyo Station again? I'm afraid not, but the point is very close to here. Why don't we go see it, as long as we're here? Okay, sure. <laughs> what is it gonna be? Where are we? This is Ni Nihonbashi. It's the name of a region also, and also the name of the bridge. The Nihonbashi has also been declared as an important cultural asset. Now that you mention it, it does have an air of pretty historic bridge. There are statues of animals on the bridge's pillars too. That's a legendary cult. Yeah, that's the legendary creature known as a Kilin, but you do see the sign on the bridge below it. Or do you see the sign below it? Uh, oh, I see it. Can't read the kanji though. They saved that was written by the last shogun, Tokugawa to Yoshinobu. Yoshinobu. Wow, that's the shogun's writing? The Nihonbashi was cho chosen to be the starting port for Japan's roads. It's where Tokyo's roads begin. That sign is the kilometer zero for the highway system. Look, you can see that pillar at the foot of the bridge that looks like a retro street lamp. That's the kilometer zero of the streets of old Tokyo, and below it is the replica of the highway kilometer zero. This is where Tokyo roads start, so both the railways and the roads start in this area, right? During the Edo period, the Nihonbashi was starting the starting point for many city streets, and it was the busiest part of the whole city. So this is the heart of Edo, huh? I really feel I can feel the history now. The bridge has such a retro vibe to God. Dude, I feel like saying you can feel the history is kind of weird. I don't know. I've never been the kind of guy to like ever have a situation where I can say I felt the history. I can see the history, but feeling it? I don't know about that. There are many buildings and spots in this area with that historical air about them. Speaking of which, there's a department store nearby called Nihimbosh Nihonbashi Tak. Takashimaya, and the elevator is still operated manually by a clerk. What? A manual elevator? Yes, its clerk would open the door by hand. The ele elevator has remained the same since the store was built. That's weird. <laughs> wow, well, and it's still around today? Nihonbashi is now a major financial district host to the, both the Bank of Japan and the Tokyo Stock Exchange. Oh, sick. There are legacy department stores and wholesale markets here, too. So even now, this is still the heart of Japan in many ways. Yes, as, as it has been in the Edo period, since the Edo period. But it's a pretty strange view. Is that the highway running over the top of the bridge? Yes, the Shuto Expressway. <laughs> to have a highway running over the historical bridge and so close by at that. There has been a lot of criticis criticisms even in Japan over the Shuto Express ru ruining the view of historical structures. Many of them want to move the expressway to protect historical scenery. <laughs> Wow, move the highway? Can you do that? It would take a great deal of money, so I'm not sure. It's an issue that's still under debate. <laughs> but anyway, the original Japanese road system, Kilometer Zero, is at the center of the Nihonbashi. Shall we get closer? Sure. Character's fairly nonchalant. <laughs> wow, it's right under the highway. I can see the sky through the two roads. Do you see a pillar between them and this... The, them... And that looks like there. I'm gonna read that again. Do you see a pillar between them that looks just like the old Tokyo kilometer zero? Kilometer zero? Yeah, I see it. On the street directly below the plate for the Japanese highway, kilometer zero. It, it on on the street directly below it is the plate for the Japanese highway, kilometer zero. Okay. It's in the middle of a road full of cars though, so you can't really see it. <laughs> wow, it's right under there. So that's the starting point for all the roads of Tokyo, huh? It really is amazing, though. There's a highway right above my head. How did it, um, how did it, end, it, uh, how did it end up this way? Why am I fucking so retarded at reading? The Shudo Expressway was quickly obstructed to co constructed to coincide with the 1964 Olympics. The center of the city was already crowded with skyscrapers and homes, so they ended up using the rivers as land to build the expressways. <laughs> the Shudo Expressway ended up running right over the Nihonbashi River. So it was only natural that it would pass over the Nihonbashi itself. Oh, really? They had to build it quickly to be done in time for the Olympics, so they built it over the river, huh? And that's how they ended up with such a weird view? <laughs> it's almost like Tokyo's built with layers of Edo and Tokyo over each other. Well, shall we begin walking back towards Tokyo Station? Sure. <laughs> wow, so nonchalant. Huh? That building looks interesting. See the new size, like, 
A new skyscraper built over an old structure? <laughs> yes, that's a ki kite. Kite. I've heard that somewhere before. It's like the thing you put on a postcard. A stamp. Oh, that's right. So why is it called that? It's the Japanese post office building. They renewed the old to Tokyo Central post office building by leaving the old structure there and just expanding over it. There's still a post office on the first floor. <laughs> wow, you're right. It's the post office building, so they call it a kite, huh? And it also has the meaning kite, or come. Kite, kite. Kite and kite. Japanese people sure do love their puns. <laughs> there are all kinds of interesting stores behind it, or inside it. Stores? There are over a hundred businesses, everything from restaurants that carry food from every Japanese region, stores that, care, that cater to more traditional flavors, and places that sell Japanese goods. Wow, then it's like all of Japan crammed into one building? It's also, it also has an installment of the Tokyo Sightseeing Service, Tokyo City Eye. What's that like? They provide sightseeing guides and tickets in four languages, Japanese, Chinese, English, and Korean. Oh, that's cool. Wow, that's like a really nice service for a foreign tourist like me. Wow, how explanatory. It seems like there's also a rooftop garden on the sixth floor. I'm calling CG up there. The sixth floor would have been the ceiling of the old post office building, right? What's the view like? Could we go see? Yes, of course. Sick. I could really see Tokyo Station. Oh, no, what? Really? Nani? They just make us fuck. Ah, time skip bullshit. You really could. The sixth floor is the ho perfect height. It's not too high up, but close enough where you can still see Tokyo Station. I felt like I could really reach out and touch it. <laughs> You're exaggerating. <laughs> you could clearly see the rooftop domes too. It was really interesting to see all of the trains lined up like that. Yes, it was wonderful view. It just shows you how many trains come to Tokyo Station. That's why it seems uh, it sees the third most traffic. The that's why it sees the third most traffic in the city. Huh? Tokyo Station isn't number one. <laughs> I'm afraid number one is Shinjuku. Number two is Ikebukuro. I hear that Shibuya was third prior to Tokyo Station's remodeling, so I suppose more people are starting to use it. Oh, I see. Despite its size, Tokyo Station is only third. Tokyo really is amazing. Oh, it seems Kite has a museum in it as well. There's a museum? I hadn't noticed. What kind of muse what kind of museum is it? It's called In what? Intermediate Tech. And it appears to be a collaboration between the post office and Tokyo Station. Tokyo University? You mean the famous one? So what about the museum? Seems like it would have some pretty amazing stuff, huh? Oh, but is it, is it expensive to go in? <laughs> no, entry is free. Huh? Free? That can't be all that great, huh? It's free, so why don't we go and see? Sure, why not? Are you gonna time skip me this time too? You are! You fucking cucks! I'm surprised. That was a serious museum. I didn't think it would have the. I, I would, it would have my since it was free. There were some impressive exhibits. There are so many of them too. It was only two stories, but it was huge. Both the taxidermized animals and large animal skeletons displayed were really interesting. <laughs> I feel like we did a lot of walking. We were there for about an hour, weren't we? The atmosphere inside the museum was great too, so it felt like a place with a lot of history. It was apparently decorated with the same furniture they used from when it was the old Tokyo Central Post Office. I see. That explains why I had such a soul in the atmosphere. But it's really generous of them to make it free. It was a fascinating experience. Scott, you were looking at everything so intently. I suppose men really do like that kind of thing. It was rather adorable. <laughs> Really? Adorable, huh? I guess I did get pretty observant in the exhibits. Even though getting to be alone at Makoto in a museum with that kind of atmosphere should have been my big chance. It was kind of like a date, wasn't it? As long as we're out here, I should really try to enjoy my time with Makoto more. We might just grow a little bit closer. Oh boy. Then me and Makoto can. Oh boy, BB. <laughs> Why so quiet? Oh, you're blushing? Huh? No, of course not. L let's go on to the next thing. Oh, come on. What are you so flustered for? You're very strange, Scott. I I'm not flustered. Crap, I can feel my face getting hot. Are you starting to get tired? We've done a quite a bit of walking today. Y yeah, that might be it. Then why don't we go have lunch? Oh, good idea. I might be able I might be a little hungry. Finally! 
food. I was like, a well, way to get Zelda mentioned to food. <laughs> There's always something food related. Yes, I am too. <laughs> there are a lot of stores on the first basement floor that sell box lunches and side dishes. Why don't we buy some and eat in the park? The weather is so nice. <laughs> yes, great idea. My face feels so hot. Nice breeze could really cool, cool it off. Would really cool it off. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. Where is this? Wadakuba Fountain Park. This is nice. Wow, I never thought I'd see a park like this between so many skyscrapers. God, this place looks nice. Is that a glass bridge over there too? Oh, Japan is so nice. <laughs> Truly, it's my first time here too, but it feels like an oasis in the middle of a city. There appears to be free rest stops to build stop buildings too. Shall we go see? If you don't mind, I'd like to eat outside. The weather is so nice and it feels great out here. Very well, then why don't we sit down in one of the benches in the shade? Okay. There's so much water, it feels so nice. What's the name of this park? Wadakura Fountain Park. Look, do you see all the fountains? They're apparently lit up at night. Wow, they must be really pretty. I wish I could have come here at night, being alone with Makoto in a romantic atmosphere, the fountains all lit up. Ah. <laughs> You must really be hungry. Y yeah. I guess I can't quite handle this sort of romantic situation yet. Let's sit down here. Okay. Wow, this feels so nice. Having the water nearby is so cooling. By the way, we passed something like a river on the way here. Was that? Yes, that was a canal. The building between these trees is the Imperial Palace. It used to be the Edo Castle. Oh, so that's it? That explains the stone wall. That's right, the building was cro uh, The building we crossed was Wadakura Bridge, and we came- uh, The bridge we crossed was Wadakura Bridge, and we came in it at the ruins of Wadakura Gate. Am I reading that right? Wadakura? Yeah. A long time ago, there were gates in the store wall, stone wall that le led you straight to the castle. So we're technically on castle grounds, right? It's pretty amazing to eat a box lunch in a place like this. <laughs> now that you mention it, you're right. Samurai used to walk across this area. I'm sure you're right, that goes out <laughs> What? Didn't Samurai used to say, say goes out after everything? Was I wrong? Oh, that's right. No, that's right. That's right, they goes out it. <laughs> wow, Makoto. Are you gonna be a Samurai too? You're more of a princess though. What? I'm a princess? Y yeah, well, you're a girl and all. She's as pretty as a princess anyway. Oh my god. Cringe! <laughs> that's rather embarrassing. Then Scott, you are my lord. No, I'm not. I'm more of a retainer, protecting the princess. Oh, then will you protect me? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> then I'll give you a reward. Here, a box to lunch. Th thanks. <laughs> Be sure to protect me, Samurai. <laughs> uh, of course I will, Degazari. <laughs> I really wish I could protect Motara Makoto. <laughs> okay, I'll eat my fill and stock up on energy. Oh, this is so cringy. Much, 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 much. Oh, if you eat that quickly, you'll choke. There, you see? Scott, are you okay? <laughs> We're back at Tokyo Station. Should we go home now? I think we have a little time left. Why don't, we, why don't we walk around the station a little bit more? We should really buy a souvenir for aki -chan. Oh, good point. If we get aki she'll get really mad. What should we get her? The Tokyo Station Underground is full of stores, so why don't we look around there? Sure, let's do it. <laughs> what store is this? It's called Shoku Shokoku Go. Oh, I'm trying to pronounce this right. <laughs> Shokoku Gotachi Plaza. They collect famous products, souvenirs, and exclusive limited time goods that you can only get in certain places from all over Japan. Wow, then you can buy souvenirs from all over the country without actually having to travel, huh? It's very convenient, because you can get them all here. It's very helpful when you forget to buy a souvenir. Oh, they have Kyoto stuff too. <laughs> oh, you're right. They have Yatsubashi. Yatsuhashi, and it's in so many varieties too. Yatsuhashi, a type of dessert special to Kyoto. You could get baked Yatsuhashi or steamed... What is that, Nama? Yeah, Nama Yatsuhashi. Is Yatsuhashi tasty? Yes, I like it a lot. It's very delicious. I see. I'd like to try it. Then why don't we? Why don't you buy a souvenir for yourself? But Kyoto is a place I'd like to go to someday. 
I'll hold off until then. <laughs> Good idea. I'm sure it'll be more impressive to you then. This place is really impressive, though. They really have everything from Hokkaido to Okinawa. Oh, regional sweets. Regional sweets. They have limited time only items, too. And they have so many different kinds. Hmm? Is this candy? Oh, that's actually bread. All sorts of sweets can go inside of it, so it's kind of like a sandwich. They're really popular because of how easy they are to eat. <laughs> but I can I am surprised that this series has so many varieties. I never knew there was such a gota, there was a gotachi series. There really are a lot, huh? How many kinds do you think there are? There are about 80 different kinds, sir. A 80 different kinds? Sugoi. <laughs> it really is an incredible sight, isn't it? It makes you want to try and compare them all. Huh? There's no way I could eat that many. <laughs> You're right. Eating all these would make you fat. There are a lot of limited I'm only sweets here too. It's amazing, but rather sad. And it makes me want to try eat to try all of them. <laughs> to many delicious so many delicious things. Perhaps we could try go bleh. perhaps we should decide where to go based on what we want to eat. Scott, where do you want to go? Let me see. Yoto, of course. But I really think I really want to go to Hokkaido too. Food sounds really delicious. Hokkaido is very nice. There's a lot of wide open space. And a lot of hot springs, right? Yes, a great deal. Some of the lakes and rivers are hot springs too. You can just go there and step right in. Oh wow, I'd love to go to a hot spring like that. And it would be even better to get in, get to go with Mkoro and Akira. Ooh. Hot springs, babes. Ooh. But that's a rather bold thought to have. <laughs> hmm? What's wrong? Oh, no, that's nothing. Ignore me. And, well, there's another place I'd have always wanted to go go to. Can we? Yeah, of course. Where do you want to go? It is... Here! <clears throat> yes, Tokyo Okashi Land. Okashi Land? So it's a country of sweets? <laughs> hey, I saw this piece of candy on the kombini. kombini. This one, too. And that one. These are all sweets I've seen before. This is where you wanted to go? This place does have a lot more than just... Yeah, this place does more than just sell sweets. <laughs> oh, really? This area is where Japan's most famous confectioners try out new products at their shops. They don't just sell the products you eat in stores, but you can also try the ones they made on site. Wow, fresh sweets? You don't often get to eat commercial sweets right off the, the line. Right? That's why I've always wanted to go. <laughs> I'm so happy. Makoto's eyes are sparkling. I guess who really did want to come here? And you also get to see them making the sweets. Oh, you're right, the machines are moving. Think they're making chocolate? That's how they make it. I have eaten it before, but I've never seen it. I've had the, that type of candy before, too. You can eat that stuff right off the line? <laughs> yes, that's the idea. The stuff they sell is delicious, but I bet it's even better when it's fresh. Then why don't we try some? Yeah, let's try. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Perfect. Look at this thumbnail. It's like asking for it. 10 out of 10. Oh my god. <laughs> Sumimasen. One, please. One. Thank you very much. Oh, here it comes. It's still warm and has so much heaven, such a heavenly aroma too. Okay then, itadakimasu. Oh, oh. oh, it's delicious. It's totally different from the stuff you buy at the store. It tastes so much better when it's fresh, huh? Oh, I'm so happy. It looks like they're making something else too, there too. Chips? Oh, they're frying them up. They look delicious. Shall we eat there too? Let's do it. Irashaimase. Huh? It looks like there are four different flavors. You can choose your toppings, salt and butter, cheese, pepper, pepperoncino, and chocolate. Which one would you prefer? Whichever one you like, Makoto. Let me see. Let's get chocolate then. One chocolate? Wait just a moment, please. These are potato chips, right? I wonder what they taste like with chocolate on it. It seems a bit odd, doesn't it? But I'm sure it will be delicious. Ah, here it is. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, these are freshly fried and so hot, too. They're so delicious. <laughs> then, let's eat. Itadakimasu. Much, much. Oh, this is so good. 
but salty potato shrimp really does go well with the sweet chocolate topping. It's a nice salty sweet taste. I could get addicted to these. Oh, I'm so happy. I wish I could live here. <laughs> huh? Here? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it really is delicious. I'm so glad we came. Makoto really is beautiful when she's happy. I'm glad we got to come here together, you cheesy fuck. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Ah, that was delicious. It really was. I think I may have eaten a little too much, though. I'll probably regret it later. <laughs> Same here. But it was fun. I had a lot of fun, too. So, uh, thank you for coming with me to the place I really wanted to go. Same here. Thank you for showing me around so many places today. I had so much fun, and the food was delicious, too. You know, I thought this place was going to be lame as fuck. But it had some cool shit. <laughs> there are even more delicious restaurants around to restaurants around Tokyo Station, I'm sure. Would you like to come back again sometime? Yeah. Oh, Makoto and I can come together too. Well, why don't we head home now? Good idea. Oh, we forgot to get a souvenir for Akira. Oh, that's right, we didn't buy anything. Well, Akira's gonna be mad if we don't buy her something. Oh, don't worry, Tokyo Station has everything. That's true, Tokyo Station does have everything.